right, my first question. Uh, I heard that you guys broke a washing machine when you went to oh L.A. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, Could you tell me a little bit about this? I don't know whose Did fault Sean that tell was. you about that? Let's yeah. just be honest. I think they broke it and just wanted us to feel bad um, when we got they there. They wanted us to pay for it. Yeah, so. they were like, oh, look, it's broken, you guys. <laughs> Better uh, do some laundry. Oh, wait, there's gravel in it. It was funny because we, that night um, we were at Sean from Planetary's house staying the night in L.A., and we were all having dinner outside in his little private back patio. And then his roommate ran out and was like, um, the washer exploded. <laughs> and we were like, uh-oh. And he went in, and the whole kitchen floor was just covered in water and, yeah. and oh. like, weird gray water. We were having such a romantic dinner outside. Yeah. Like, they it made us like, pasta and then garlic very, bread, very nice. and we're all just sitting there outside on a little bench, a little table. We seem to carry weird, like, curses with us sometimes. Yeah, wait, okay, something else happened. Didn't, oh yeah, okay, so, speak. yeah, we, there are so many weird stories that I could just get into right now. But <laughs> right now you guys are on tour with Now Now and, the, no, I'm sorry. We're on tour with ourselves. With yourselves. Yeah. I am with touring Vacationer with Vacationer. Yes. And The Naked and Famous. Mm-hmm. Yes. Had you guys known them before? Or no. was this, mm-hmm. how did this get set up? Just through we booking just, agents. Yeah, okay. submitted for it. How's and that going so far? Amazing. It's really, really, it's really, really fun. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. I love, I, I seriously love everyone on the tour, and that's abnormal. Yeah, like we've to, made a lot of new friends. Yeah, to, like, really get along and, like, yeah. want to hang out with everyone. Like, mm-hmm. that's my only problem with this tour is, like, there's no time to hang out. This like, is the biggest U.S. tour we've done before, too, so it's it's cool playing at all these venues we've never played at before and um, seeing how the shows run a little bit differently than we're used to in the U.S., so it's it's fun in that sense, too. Yeah. What do you guys do when you're driving from venue to venue on the tour? What do you do in the van to, to keep yourself from going crazy? It depends sleep. on who's driving. I literally have not made it through a day without sleeping on a drive. I yeah, I don't think. I have. Because I, I, usually someone, like, since those two drive and I don't drive, like, someone has to be awake. Like the for, co-pilot to keep yeah. the driver awake. Yeah, and so I'm usually, I'm that person because they're like, you don't drive, so you're going to stay awake. And I'm like, I usually don't sleep in the van lately. I haven't really been in a nappy <clears throat> mood this tour, so I just have been doing a lot of the driving, and I just listen to music, and that's pretty much all that really needs to keep me awake. A lot of, I've been listening to Alanis Morissette a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Jagged Little Pill. Yeah, that's yep. how you do it. A lot of the Grease soundtrack. <laughs> oh, Grease soundtrack, yeah. Uh, Those two things really. A lot of. Not when Jess is driving, but when Brad's driving. A lot of Britney. Britney, Madonna. That's how you do it. Britney, Madonna. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Rihanna. Rihanna. Sky Ferreira. <laughs> That's how you do it. Keeps That's how you stay awake. awake. I yeah. also eat a lot of sprees and sour skittles to there keep me awake. There was a spree battle last night. Did you witness that battle? Mm-mm. They were being They just took thrown. Brad's candy and started, the other bands were just throwing it at each other all night. It was <laughs> it's good, spree party. I would have eaten it all. Yeah. yeah. It was like one of those big... Movie theater size boxes. I usually eat the whole thing. So isn't your yeah. tongue like raw at the end of that? Yeah. I I forgot but they were sour. It hurt I me. I keep it keeps me awake. So whatever. Yeah. Better be better to be safe than <laughs> to be falling asleep at the wheel. Yes, I saw Brad fall asleep at the wheel the other day, but it was me waking up from being asleep, and I was like, oh, whoa, 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 and Brad was like what is your problem? And I didn't want to be like, I woke up and thought you were crashing the van, so I was just like, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I was just minding my own business. I know. That happened to me like three times that night. I hate it. Do you uh, Do you just not like driving? I'm a really bad traveler. I'm horrible at... I'm not good at... Yeah, I don't drive well. I don't fly well. She just is always... I don't travel when by she's boat. Walking. She's well, just bad with... That kind of I stuff. get what when I'm walking. Lost. Lost when you go anywhere. Okay, that's that's true. not fair. It is Listen, true. Okay, it's here's true. this is what cons- this is what being lost means. If here's a door, this is where I'm supposed to go. Wait, I walk past the door. Oh wait, I see the door. Then I go back to the door. That's me being no, lost. That is <laughs> this is not how, true. This is like how I'll know. take one wrong no. turn and I'll go back. No, stop. I'll be able lost. to go this back. This is what happens. You can tell she's lost because whenever she doesn't know what's going on anywhere, she walks around like she paces and she whistles to herself, but she's not even <laughs> whistling a real song. She's just going. She's. <laughs> that is not she's just true. going. 
okay, that's just like. <laughs> and so I see every time. That's not what I'm lost. No, that's just what I'm time, thinking. Every time we get to a venue, <laughs> if you look anywhere, you'll just see Casey walking around just whistling, and that means that that's she doesn't know true. what's going on. She okay. doesn't know where she is. Okay. <laughs> weird little things like that. Like I wish I could you, say profane things because that would be mean. When she's like holding us up and like making us late for something, <laughs> my favorite thing that she does. <laughs> To try God. and distract me from like getting mad at her is she'll like walk by me and like sing a song. <laughs> like okay, a pop song. <laughs> they think they understand my brain, she'll, but they like, do dance not. To herself, and I'm like, what are you doing? We're like so late right now. Or whenever okay. we're really late. You want to talk about <laughs> no. being late? No, listen. You want to talk about being whenever late? Whenever we're really late for something. Oh, wait. Stop. Casey's yeah. excuse is always. I cannot believe Stop. this is what's happening right <laughs> now. We'll be like an hour late, and I'll be like, Casey, we have to go. And she'll be like, I know I'm just brushing my teeth. And I'm like, you should have done that an hour ago. I, don't, I know you're just brushing your teeth Okay, right do now. you want to know what happens to me, why this happens? Okay, let's say there's four of us traveling together. Let's say everyone wakes up, you know, 10 or 15 minutes late. I always shower last. Everyone 10 or 15 minutes late makes me an hour late. And I get the sh... St- Problems for everyone. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, the reason you shower last is up? because you refuse to wake up early. Who we have woke to wake up, up early. So late today, little lady. <laughs> okay. Yes. I so I wake up late one time. I woke up. I got ready in under twenty-five minutes uh, today. Thank all you. All right, we should just uh, move on because we're just <laughs> yeah. Into <laughs> They've had their fun <laughs> with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Alright, moving this on. Is, this is how we stay awake in the van. This is what happens. <laughs> we just fight the whole thing. Yes. <laughs> um, so the band uh, first came together when you guys were in high school. Two of you were in high school. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. W- if music hadn't panned out, where do you guys think you would be now? Uh, I went to school for graphic design and I still do that, like, to make money. So I would probably be doing that. I probably, that's like what I wanted to do before I started writing. I wanted to go to art school of some kind. Like, I, w- I wasn't very good at it, but that's like what's that's not like. That's true. She's good at it. That's that's like what my whole life was like leading up to until I started writing. Like, ever since I was like, you know, a toddler, basically. Like, I was like trained to go to art school. Like, I would do drawing exercises all the time. Anyway, that's probably what I would have done. Or something separate. Like, not this kind of music, mm-hmm. or I would have done something with, like, drum wine, something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Does this mean that you guys put, like, a, a pretty painstaking process for the album art? Yeah. yeah. Brad Brad does all of the artwork, but I'm just, like, the the jerk who's, like, <laughs> Case he's make the, it better. <laughs> the one who makes me do a million different versions of everything. Brad probably went through, like, 80 different, like album artwork ideas. That's not even an, an No, I'm not. Like, diff- like literally, like, 80. Like, different really little ideas. I really want to do something with all of those different <clears throat> covers, because there's so many of them that are just sitting there. Yeah, so many. They're all amazing, but I'm just like, okay, that's, this is beautiful, but we can't, this is not the right thing for this. And it's an ordeal. Mm-hmm. But it's so beautiful. Where did you get the picture from for the one you finally chose on? Uh, it's a picture that my mom took when she was on a trip to Colorado, like, forever ago. I think it was a trip she took with my dad, like, before they got married. So it doesn't really have any direct connection to the album itself, but it, it really fit with what we wanted to use. Yeah. So. That's cool. And uh, your new album is called Threads. Mm-hmm. Are you guys into sewing a lot? No. No. Well, I mean, I, I like do like sew. sewing, but that's not related. I don't really do it that often. But if I had something to make out of fabric, I wouldn't mind sewing. Yeah. yeah. I sew my clothes <laughs> because they don't fit me because I'm small. Where did the name come from then? Don't do this to me, Brad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Someone please take it away. The record is about basically how, um, <clears throat> it's about when, I'm see it's hard. You started. Okay. Do you want me to try? Yep. Do you have this or do you want me to try? We're really bad at talking about our own music. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's just about like balance in a way. Like it's not about literal, I'm going to stitch some things, thread. It's like threads connecting things but not in terms of like literal sewing thread like 
and just like how fragile like that feels you know like it's just little tiny things like connecting like everything and how easily that can just be like completely destroyed and yeah, yeah that was good thank you